Hello and good evening to you all. Good evening. We are going to meet in another episode which we have been doing from the past week on various subjects which may be of very great use to our lives. Today's topic is exhilarating delights. Now, what are exhilarating delights? Now, a happiness in a person can have three levels. You can have happiness, which is more or less a state of uh, permanency, semi-permanency. Then you have wonderment, which is a temporary emotion that comes to you when you hear or see something. Then you have what we call delight. Delight is something that lasts much longer than wonderment, but it is an after effect of an wonderment. This is basically the three classification that we have. Today we are going to talk about delight in our own lives. So we will start off with what is the experience of delight that we had. So I think you can start it too. Yeah. Yeah. In so, all our lives, we would have undergone unexpected surprises mm -hmm. which makes us really happy for a long time. Uh, for example, there is a construction going adjacent to our house. So the old house was demolished, lot of debris, dust and the contractor of course, he has covered the whole place with the green nylon net and all those things. But still, in my mind I was thinking, okay, the dust will come inside. One day, as I was looking at the net, I saw a creeper coming up. Creeper, I don't know where from it comes. It is coming and after some days, it started covering the whole of the and green it, nets. Yeah. I am a lover of greenery and this creeper gave me a real delight because it is going to give me some good breeze. Yeah, having a very bland green netting is something which you normally don't appreciate very much. Many people who are interested, especially in greenery, would like to have something much more what we call decorative there. So this is one experience. I will tell you two experiences which I had in my life. One is we had gone to visit our niece and her newborn baby in London. This was about three years back. And uh, we didn't know where she was staying. So we asked her to come and meet us in the station. It is an underground station called Finsbury Park. A beautiful park and a lot of nice houses there. And it is the place where you have the Emirates Stadium, very famous for football. So when a football match takes place, you normally have a very vast crowd. So it's a real urban setting. We never expected to have any wonderful, delightful experience there. But as we came out of the station, we saw a double rainbow. We were standing near the signal. Yes. Yeah. And we saw a double rainbow, fully formed. And for a moment, we thought that we were in some real wilderment or open space where you have this exhibition of beauty from nature. So that was something which you felt at the moment, a great delight you know, in beholding that there is a wonderful sight in front of your eyes. The other experience which I had was in Australia. I had gone on an official visit and uh, I was taken to Newcastle where our new office was being opened. And um, the local uh, managing director, very nice and jovial person, he said, Tib, I would like you to, you know, take a drive down, take a drive down from Newcastle to Sydney in the evening, late evening. I said, why? Yeah, he said, you come, I will show you what you have in store for yourself. So... We started back from Newcastle, maybe around about uh, 6 o'clock in the evening. And as we were driving down, the sun went down and it was getting dark. 
half way between uh, newcastle and sydney my uh, manager he said now just we will take a little detour into the outback because from that road a few miles away if you take a small bypass road you go into the wilderness that is absolutely empty space it is more or less like a desert so we drove for about maybe about half an hour into the outback and then he had a open top which was close as we were driving now he opened it and he said now lie back and then look at the sky and even now when i say this i get a, a feeling of you know delight because millions of stars the dark sky cloudless sky and with the milky way arching right across a desert and that's a sight which is very rare to find unless you are really out in the dark space in the open field and that was an experience which i can never forget in my life so these are two experiences which i felt that i should share with you so anything you had another experience yeah, which you can share exactly we were in bangalore on a trip and uh, whenever we go to bangalore we go to the government uh, handicrafts emporium uh, looking for something good because we are sort of connoisseurs of a good uh, handicraft and as you we were going through the shop at one corner i saw a, a roll i wanted to see what what is inside it as i took it out and opened it it was beautiful miniature jodhpur miniature or udaipur mm. miniature paintings and when i looked at the price i was really thrilled okay it was just for a song it should be yes i bought yes. the whole roll and happily distributed it to all the people who loved it in your life also you should have felt something like this yeah these are few of the experiences which we wanted to share with you why we wanted to share is that we normally don't go looking for happiness happiness is a state of our mind and it should be translated into a state of our being because being happy in your mind is very very short duration because your mind is always busy with so many things which you don't want to really entertain all type of crap comes into your mind throughout the day but to be happy to be permanently happy there are two things which are absolutely essential silence and loneliness and all of us cannot have that because silence and loneliness are more for ascetics we are in our own family lives we are our own responsibilities but we can experience this by catching the right moment when we are presented with this opportunity to delight in something that we hear or see or you know feel or smell in all our senses are given to enjoy this in our life and that is the reason why whenever we get an opportunity even to listen to something for example another example of where i get a lot of delight is when i am able to get some new knowledge because this is what is essential in our life so with these thoughts we will uh, thank you for this wonderful sharing opportunity we will meet next time with another topic thank you thank bye thank you so much thank you